Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 13th of February. Today I'm taking one of the signals from our Swing Trading Membership. In our tr Swing Trading Membership I produce a video every day with all the current open trades and how I'm managing them, all the new trades uh, every single day. The, the spreadsheet is downloadable uh, for the current stop loss positions, trailing stops, the new positions and everything like that. So we've got a great swing trading membership. I think it's done something like 700% profit times risk uh, this month in February so far. Uh, and in the membership, you can go back and look at every single video for every single day for the last two years. Uh, it's got all the spreadsheets on there and it's updated every single day. So today I've taken just one of those signals. Uh, I've chosen uh, SEE. Now this is on the 60 minute time frame. I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for Think or Swim from TradeTheFifth.com. It's also available for NinjaTrader, MultiCharts and TradeStation. So this SEE is a really strong bullish move in today at the moment, helped recently by the great earnings where we had the gap up and the move up there. As you can see, longer term here, we've got this nice bullish move and then we had the big gap up move a reaction to earnings. Now, it's that pullback since then that I'm interested in. So that's a way for pullback. Um, and this is really, really important. We have the big gap up, the move up from earnings, and then we've had some profit taking. Now, this seems to have subsided, and this is now meeting the criteria for our potential fifth wave move. This is the 60 minute time frame on SEE. Uh, we've had a wave four pullback against that main trend. It's found support in both our green probability zone here, which is an 85% probability foot support is found here. That's going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue, around about 45, 40, something like that in the middle there. Now, we also measure the the performance of that wave four. So first of all, on the mid uh, middle of this sub charts is our 535 oscillator. That wave four has pulled back between 90 and 140%. Really, really looking good. It could come back a little further. We don't know. But at this moment in time, we've got to get it set up. The stochastic has crossed over. We, we just zoom out a little bit. We can see these false breakout bars on the uh, on the top there in the overbought zone, that denotes a really strong bullish trend. It's pulled back now. The last time it pulled back in the oversold zone, you can see how it returned to that main bullish trend and kept on going. This is what we're looking for now. So really, really strong looking trade. It could, could pull back a little bit further. This is why we've gone for uh, a conservative entry here. So if we just zoom in a little bit on this entry, my entry is going to be above all these pivots since this big move down from the, from the third wave after that earnings reaction. So my entry is above the whole $43 mark. Uh, 43.16 is the entry above all of these pivots just here. And the stop loss is 41.97, just below that wave four low there, which is also found support in our EMA cloud as well. So not just that linear FIB levels with our probability zones, but also this EMA cloud is acting as support as well. So really, really strong support level forming at this moment intraday. Uh, we are looking at that target there around about 45, 40. So a good risk reward of, net, of you know, one to two into the top end of that target zone, even with this sensible conservative entry. So really good looking trade. I've taken this as just one of those signals from our swing trading membership and the link will be um, just above this video in our blog. Um, but good looking trade, good looking setup, SEE on the 60 minute time frame for a potential fifth wave move higher. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.